So welcome back friends. Today is a big day. We're going to do probably, or I'm going to upload one of the most requested videos of all time. And that is for all of you guys that have asked, hey, we'd like to see a comparison between a really high end, nice, powerful electric chainsaw versus a good of a gas chainsaw of similar size. And I'm really curious to find out who's going to come out on top myself. I, to my recollection, I don't know that I've ever used an electric chainsaw. This is uh, loaned to me generously by my dad. He brought it out here and said, hey, we should try, we should see that new uh, Husky you have, if that can compete uh, with the electric saw. So let's come in here close. I'll show you the two contenders. Uh, we've got a nice log mounted up on the forks of the tractor, and we're gonna do a speed cut. And we're gonna find out who is the better cutter. On the electric side, we have the very cool, this is the first time I've laid hands on one of these, the Makita. XCU03, gently used, uh, my dad saw here, with what's the cool thing about it is, check this out, two batteries. Very compact, it's it's cool, man. This is a, uh, I know my dad's a big Makita guy. He uh, was, a, of course, a, a general contractor. He's retired now, but uh, a, a big tool guy, um, and is really likes the Makita stuff. Um, and this is really interesting. It's a, it's a longer, quite a bit longer than the, uh, than the Husky, but very similar in every way. It's a more of a traditional style. It's got the back handle. Uh, we've got a power level indicator there, so both batteries are fully charged. We've got a sharp chain on there. Traditional chain break, uh, but overall pretty cool. We've got bar oil, uh, just like on all the other saws, uh, with the mine with with the exception of the gas. This is kind of cool here. This is the uh, chain tensioning system, so toolless chain chain tensioning. Uh, right there's the little wheel there, but uh, very cool, very 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 interesting little saw. Um, lightweight and I guess very quiet. So if you need to cut in the in the forest or around campgrounds. Uh, you don't want to disturb people, man, this would be a pretty good option. I know a lot of guys, even professional guys, that are swearing by these electric saws for just around the house stuff and, and as a truck saw. So let's take a look at the uh, the Husky gas saw contender. Mine, this is my latest saw. This is a, a top handle arborist saw. You can see the handle is on the top instead of on the back. This is a very popular saw for climbers. So tree climbers, arborists. If you look at the shape of it, it's kind of shaped like a little pod. Uh, as you're lowering it and raising it through the trees and the branches, it's less likely to catch. Uh, it's got um, you know all your traditional features, a lot of nice stuff. It's got a loop on the back there so you can attach it to a rope. Um, two different angles, 190 degrees, so if you want it to hang either way. Uh, but a nice little saw. I've not used it yet. Um, I fired it up and just kind of messed around with it, but uh, it's fueled up, ready to go. Both saws have the same for I believe it's a 14 inch 14 inch bar with the small chains on them so we have you know we're all it's really a good comparison because that's a very um, well they're exactly the same bars same chain so let's uh, let me show you the log and then we'll uh, we'll do a time trial and we'll find out who's who does the best so here's how it's gonna work so what I'm going to do is we'll uh, we'll do we'll set the clock and we're gonna make six cuts uh, we'll do a down up down up down up. So that'll be six cuts uh, from the top side of the bar on the back side of the bar and we'll see which one is going to be faster. We've got a piece a, of lodgepole pine here that is probably about six inches in diameter. Now this is definitely on the big side and more wood than these little saws are probably intended to cut, uh, but it's equal. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll see. I have no idea what to expect. I've never ran one of these little saws. Uh, or the electric, so I'm really keen to find out uh, which one's going to be the faster cutter. So let's start with uh, the Makita, the electric. I guess I don't need hearing protection. I, I'm assuming, that's a, a nice bonus. So you turn it on, how do you make it work? Oh, well, there we go. That actually is a little bit noisy. I'm gonna put hearing protection in, why not? I don't, I don't like loud tools. All right, six cuts on your mark, three, Two, one, go. Whoops. <laughs> go.
All right, there we go. Okay, that was that's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's a that's a ferocious little saw. That thing really really cuts. Uh, very little vibration. It's nice to use. It's um, a little bit quieter. Well, quite a bit quieter, I think, than the gas version. But boy, it's it's legit, man. I mean, it really got after it. This is uh, this is hard. This is not like ponderosa pine. This is lodgepole. It's pretty dense, and it's uh, it's it's no joke to cut. But man, oh man, that thing just really tore. So let's fire up the uh, the husky, and uh, we'll see how it does. All right, now for the the Husky Pro arborist saw here. Not sure the starting sequence. <laughs> That's a pretty good little saw too. So I don't know which one was faster, but my my gut instinct or my gut feeling is it seems that the Makita was maybe a little bit faster uh, with those that 36 volt. That's quite a bit of power. Uh, it, it'll be interesting to see. So let's uh, we'll put the clip together side by side. We'll see together, but a very interesting comparison. Now I've asked the folks at DeWalt, you know, you guys, I've done some stuff with them in the past, um, if they would send one of their chainsaws out, uh, and they said that they would. So I haven't seen it yet, but I'm really curious. It's their biggest, baddest one, uh, and they're, uh, we'll do a comparison and see, and see how that thing cuts it. I think it's quite a bit more powerful than the Makita, and it looks even bigger in size. So I'll, I'll be really curious to find out, but uh, that's kind of a fun comparison. And uh, the electric chainsaws, I mean, they're pretty legit now. Uh, a lot of professional people are using them. Most of the major manufacturers are building them. I see Husky's got them. I think Steel's got them. Uh, of course, Makita, DeWalt, you know, all the major players are, are building them. Uh, they and they just use traditional bars and oilers, and they're they're cool, man. I mean, you don't have all of the fuss and the muss, so uh, I think it's uh, it has a place. Is it ever going to replace a uh, a gas chainsaw? Uh, probably not for a long time. Um, and then you do have the the, the problem of uh, the battery storage. You know, perfect example. My buddy uh, uh, Jesse went in. He was clearing for some dirt bike stuff, and he bought a DeWalt and took it in there and borrowed some batteries from me. And carrying all those batteries was, um, you know, it had, was problematic. I know that one of them got broken in the pack from all the jostling. So, you know, they're not, uh, they're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. And if I were to go into the back country with a saw, I think I would probably prefer uh, gas, uh, but I haven't used one out there yet. So we'll have to we'll have when we get that DeWalt We'll have to find out. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the comparison and we'll see you guys on the next video